I always recommend that everyone should have a dash cam if they're driving around in a car, whether you're doing ride sharing or just driving around for fun, because you always want to have proof of what actually happened in case something goes wrong. But one of the things I really hate about dash cams is unless you have a Tesla where the cameras are automatically recording everything, you need to mount a camera on your windshield and that's kind of an eyesore and to me it just gets in the way. And plus if you're in California, you're not allowed to have anything on your windshield, so that really complicates things even more. So today we have something that will actually solve that. We have a rear view mirror that has cameras built in along with some other safety features that literally goes onto your current rear view mirror, has a screen where the mirror is and it's pretty cool. So this way you won't have to mount anything on your windshield and maybe it'll even look stock. I guess we'll find out. Now taking a look at the box, it's literally just a brown box with a Rexing sticker on it, M2 sticker on it, and I'm thinking there might be a box within a box, so let's find out. Okay, it looks like there's not a box within the box, so I'm kind of disappointed. The branding here, the quality of the packaging, it's a real loser for me. Although remember, never judge a book by its cover, because Rexing products have actually been pretty good in my experience. So not only is this a forward facing dash cam that goes on your mirror, but it also has a rear facing camera that actually lets you get some cool features like blind spot monitoring, which is pretty cool. You have both front and rear cameras recording at 1080p at the same time. You can wire this up so it actually works as a backup camera when you shift into reverse. So if you don't have one, this is a really good way to do it. It has built in GPS so you know how fast you're going, where you were, a 170 degree wide angle lens so you can capture everything in front of you. It has a G sensor so if it detects a collision, it'll automatically lock the file so you have the evidence in case you need to prove yourself in court. As well as driver assistance features and cross traffic support so it'll actually make your car safer if you don't have all those safety features already. So that's really cool to see. But like I said, for 200 bucks, packaging I feel like could be a lot better. Although I guess we'll see how the product actually is. Inside the box I have a user manual, an 18 month warranty, a safety guide, some foam, I love foam. And okay, here we have it. We have the 12 inch mirror camera screen and this is actually bigger than I was expecting, like, look how big this thing is. This is a lot bigger than a standard rear view mirror, that's for sure. Hmm, I mean, it's looking pretty good though, I just didn't think it was going to be this big. I guess we'll see how it actually looks in the car. We have the GPS receiver, so I guess the GPS isn't built into the camera and mirror itself, it's a separate adapter, which is alright, you can just mount this wherever you want. We have a very lengthy 12 volt power cable, a trim removal tool so you can hide the wires, a couple adhesive wire mount pieces, we have the rear view camera here which will mount onto the back of your car and you can wire it into your reverse light so that way it'll automatically engage when you switch into reverse, as well as a USB A to mini USB cable for data transfer. Alright, so we do have a lot of stuff here, a lot of stuff going on with this package, but this mirror, it's, it's just so big I mean remember it's 12 inches a capacitive touch screen we got all that good stuff definitely a lot of real estate so you can see what's going on and of course we'll be able to see all the warnings like blind spots and everything so that's really cool it's got some nice weight to it feels very solid I don't want to peel this off yet because we didn't install it yet but I mean it looks like you can actually use this as a mirror although we really want to because you'll be able to see the rear facing camera if you want so that's a lot better than a mirror especially at night now taking a look on the back we do have some rubber mounts right here which will easily come apart wrap this around your current mirror and then put them back on that way it's not going to damage your current mirror and it also stay in place. We have our speaker grill right here on the bottom side and then on the other side we have the 170 degree wide angle camera which you can actually move around to angle it exactly how you need it to get the perfect angle in front of your car. Down there on the bottom we have the power button along with a microphone hole and then up top we have the GPS port, the micro SD card slot which is empty does not include a micro SD card, we have the AV in as well as the mini USB port for power. And really that's it. It's very simple, albeit very big, but let's see how it actually works in the real world. We're going to head outside, get this thing installed, and put it to the test.
smacking them. Careful collision. <laughs> you're gonna <laughs> you turn red. Yeah, the box is too big. It thinks you're gonna hit everybody. It's pretty dark outside. If you had a regular mirror, you wouldn't be able to see anything. But you can see that guy running across the street. That's badass, though. <clears throat> That's way better than a mirror. I wonder what it looks like at night. That's what I thought. Like. We are back in the studio and after testing out this dash cam rear view mirror combo setup I'm actually mostly impressed with it as a dash cam I wouldn't recommend replacing your current dash cam setup with it because the video quality could definitely be better but if you're just trying to use it as a rear view mirror replacement so you can see better at night and be have dark tinted windows I could definitely recommend it for that because looking through that screen which is really big by the way if you have a car probably gonna look a bit out of place and you might want to opt for something smaller. But as we have it installed in a Ram truck, it actually fits the bill pretty well and it looks like it's supposed to be there. But using it as a rear view mirror, you could definitely see a lot better at night than you can through an ordinary mirror, especially when it's dark outside, as you guys could see as we were testing it. So if you're just trying to find something to replace your rear view mirror, but you already have a dash cam set up, or maybe you don't care if it's perfect for the dash cam, where you can see license plates and all that good stuff, but you just want to be able to record something in case something goes wrong, it'll definitely get the job done, but it could be done a lot better. But using it as a rear view mirror, I could definitely recommend it for that.